prepare for cyber future. The year is 2004. What is this? What is this wallpaper? Please don't be bad. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Could have been bad, wasn't. Uh, we're going to play some res because I, I accidentally listened to Adam Freeland this morning and that's just how it goes. Uh, this game's rad. I, don't, I feel like you just don't need to know anything about it. You know? Who needs to know anything about this game that isn't immediately apparent upon playing it? Maximum Bloom? Yep. Maximum Anisotropy Filtering? Crank the... Anti-aliasing is actually extremely important in this game. Not a whole lot of games rely desperately on clean lines. Alright. It's time to go into the internet. That's actually what this game's about. Kind of. There's like some virginal AI that's trapped in, in the Matrix. And we gotta go in there and zap all the little viruses and save her. But you hardly know that until you finish the game. And even then you have to read the fucking manual. Uh, any hot takes on Sony State of Play this afternoon? I'm sh No hot takes until it happens. I'm sure I'll have plenty then. They're gonna show Stellar Blade. So there will be uh, two very large hot takes to behold. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, okay. I couldn't remember if- okay, then that means I've- I can do beyond. Let's see, uh... Gee, Lost Area. Oh yeah, Lost Area. I sh the music in Lost Area is extremely grating. Very, very angry. Should we try a different filter? No. Those get a little intense, actually. Playing Osher's Wrath, I guess, also kind of reminded me of this. Yeah, Airy X, Dr. Cheeks, Airy X is kind of scary. It gives me the megalophobia a little bit. It like, it like, it gives me the willies, man. The absolute scale of it. It's really cool, though. It's like, it's what VR... It's it's what the metaverse was supposed to be, right? It's, it's 96 hackers. It's punching deck. Oh yeah, Aesthetic Star Fox. Excellent, excellent, excellent description. They made the Winamp visualizer a video game. What's this about? Uh, it's a rail shooter. The, the, the gimmick of it, such as it is, is that the game has an audio engine that quantizes every player action. Uh, this is something that happened in Tetris Effect and uh, Luminous. Tetsuya Mizuguchi is the, the game director who loves, who loves doing that, and I love him for it. But essentially, uh, every game sound effect is like moved back to be on the next quarter, quarter beat wherever it happens to be. So no matter what you do, it's, it's locked in time with the backbeat. So all of your sound effects end up creating a chunky little song. The creator made a follow-up to this game. There is essentially a sequel, even though uh, I remember there was an interview where Tetsuya Mizuguchi himself was like, it's not Res 2. And I was like, well, okay, buddy. 
sure does look like it to me. And I couldn't be happier because of all the games that would never get a sequel. This is, this is, should have been one of them. Anyway, there's a game called Child of Eden. Uh, it even had Kinect controls, which is pretty sick. You could aim around by waving your hands. Had some slightly different shooting mechanics and wasn't quite as wireframe. Much more mushroom, Mother Gaia, Earth Spirit stuff. It's fucking awesome. I play that game sometimes too. I'm still working on the achievements for it. There's some score attack stuff I haven't done. And then he got to make Tetris because somehow this world is worthy of it. In the squad today? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna join Bruce for some Suicide Squad uh, in about an hour, which uh, I think is about how long it takes to play through this game. We'll see. Yeah, I'm absolutely gonna stream Child of Eden again. I'm not done with that game. Oh, Child of Eden was the game I was thinking about. Area, there's like a, yeah, the hope level. Uh, there's a level in Child of Eden I've still never been able to beat. Yes, also going to do State of Play. I'm gonna join Bruce for an hour, dismiss myself, watch State of Play, rejoin Bruce, uh, and then uh, play more Suicide Squad. Play Suicide Squad until this evening, or guess what? Bruce and I are gonna play Lethal Company with Casim uh, and Datto. So it's a non-stop parade of dudes today. Actually, I think Danielle might be there. I hope so. Yeah, it's gonna be a, Bruce is gonna have his work cut out for him. Corralling all these, all these cats. Oops. I, I have to keep telling Automod that butt boys is fine. Is it fine? I just realized it might not be fine. Slash thighs? Can you believe Automod is suppressing you? You're you're trying to spread a message of positivity right there. And Automod's out here. This is what happened, man. This is the fucking this police state they warned us about. Joe Rogan was right. Joe Rogan was right. The liberals, man, they just want to control everything. I wanna, I have to, hold on. For the sake of, of social justice, I have to click on this. Permitted term. It's weird. Automod's very sensitive. Automod is on its lowest setting. What came first, the acronym brought you this thing or butt? I have no idea. I was not around when they named it. I don't think anyone's ever been canceled playing Res. I don't want to be the first. Someone's definitely been canceled playing The Sims, right? I'm trying to think. Like, what's the most unlikely game somebody's been canceled playing? What did I get hit by? My cyber frame has ranked down.
Stardew Valley? Maybe? It's like the Lawnmower Man game, but good. Yeah, it is. Wow. Petrie, thank you very much for the sub. Guilty Gear Strive got a guy canceled because he had nude mods. Well, I feel like fighting games, you know, mm, I would believe that people have been canceled over a fighting game. Some things be, some things get said sometimes. Mm. No, my points. Luckily, I don't think that really matters for the true ending. There's only like specific sections of specific stages you have to hit over 90% of enemies on. And then you get like the hard version of a boss and you have to kill the hard versions of bosses or something. Remember, we're doing all this to save the cyber babe. You saw her in the title screen, right? That's what we're doing it for. We're doing it for our cyber babe. Eve? Or uh, that might be Child of Eden, I don't remember. Anyway, there's an AI cyber babe out there. She's being held hostage by the viruses. And we can't be having that. We got to save our digi cyber babes. That's Child of Eden? Yeah. Child of Eden is, is even trippier. Child of Eden is like, there was a girl who was born on the moon. She died. But also her AI uh, like was uploaded to the Matrix. It is 500 years later. You are now finding her lunar AI inside of the cyberspace. You must save her. That's it. It's fucking sick, man. And guess what? You find her and you save her. You purify her under a tree of sparkling digi memories. I'm not making any of that up. That's literally the ending of the game. And it's fucking awesome. I, pr I pretty much cry every time. And it's not even one of those like, Ugh. It's not like watching a Last of Us trailer cry. It's like a, a beautiful single man tear cry. A single tear of gratitude at the beauty of life. Shoot the evil code to save the cyber chick. Child of Eden is all about purifying. Like they, the game is very explicit about that in a lot of different ways. You don't, you don't kill anything. You shoot the bad off of it, and then it swims away happy. It's uh, it's like reinforced all over the whole game. Ah! I didn't, I didn't pay attention, man. Right, a manly tear while beholding the splendor of cyberspace. Yeah, yeah, I have a shirt that I used to wear of this a lot. That was my my subtle telegraph that that I had refined video game tastes. Fuck you. I've learned over the years, random playthroughs, that there's like there's kind of there's some intentionality to bomb usage in this game. If you bomb at the right time, it'll usually spawn another bomb for you. What I've noticed. And there's some enemy waves that are kind of like, they're kind of hints that this is a good time to bomb. but that's not so bad.
spinning around this cybertropolis. smooth man again. Ah! I don't know if that counts. Ah, well. Let's see if I get the easy version of the boss. This one actually is pretty easy to take hits on, as I recall. Is this the satellite dish boss? Yeah. Yeah, Thornius, your character goes from being like a cyber fetus or like just a bit, actually. You're just like a little dot and then you like become a more formed human and then eventually like a an evolved Cyberman, which is pretty sick. Yeah, this is the hard version because two of them are turning on at once. I am watching the state of play later, but I don't think Bruce is going to be joining me. He just, he didn't seem that interested in it. I don't know. I asked him. I don't know. I think he, uh, he probably correctly assumes that there's going to be more viewership for just Suicide Squad than uh, restreaming State of Play. Oh yeah, their light, light comes out like right here. Jesus Christ! What do you want from me? Uh. Okay, that one usually gets me. Yeah. I did like I liked Suicide Squad quite a bit, Josh guy. And I'm look for looking forward to playing it more. I should be able to finish it today. Whew. I thought there was another wall phase. Maybe that wasn't the hard version. Well, whatever, who cares? 
Life goes on. Much like my my journey through the cyber realm. Go hard on Virtual Boy. It does have Steam VR support. Yeah. There's a whole VR mode actually. There's a, there's like a specific level slash experience where you can fly around in 3D space. Fully VR. Yeah. It is it is intense. <laughs> Hey, Fair King. Good to see you. Happy hump day, all. played a single Halo game, should I spend 10 bucks and get Master Chief Collection? Yeah, they're worth playing through, you know? For 10 bucks, that's a lot of games that a lot of people spend a lot of time and effort on. So they're enjoyable from a, a basic perspective. It's good music in there. A lot of good music. play Spider-Man 2. I did. I did. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I had fun. I kind of meant to go back and do the side stuff, but then I didn't. I, I don't... I'd rather play Suicide Squad at this point. I also just don't... I don't start, like, PS5, you know? That's not where I begin my what am I going to play tonight decision tree. And if I did, I probably would have spent more time in Spider-Man by now. But... I'm playing a lot of Chained Echoes instead. Look at me. Look at my... Look at my cyber chakras opening up. Freaking cyber mantras. Um.
ultimate form. Sound orb. There's actually one above this. I kind of don't like this, the sound effects, the vox of this form as much. It's a little more intrusive, it's a little more harsh. I kind of like the rat-a-tat tats of the, uh, just the, like, third form, I think. Because it does change your sound effects a little bit. This is the musical equivalent of, like, picking shitty-looking gear for better stats. Can't tell if this came out in the 90s or last year. Uh, it's, well, I mean, it's deeply Y2K, so... And that is, that is very much the era it's from, yeah. I think it's like 2001, 2002? But this version, Res Infinite, is a version that was re-released for PC. It has, it has a Steam VR mode, uh, or specifically a Steam VR level. So they added some stuff. I'm kind of hoping that someday Child of Eden will, will be able to get a similar treatment. Shit! A little late on that one. My, my thinking has been disturbed, my inner calm violated. Therefore, my, my form has descended back into a mortal plane. It's okay. If I absorb enough blue nuggets. Yeah, Texas, you're right about that. A lot of, a lot of, uh, well, ironic is... There's some irony there, I guess, but I think it's just like homage, it's wraparound. Yeah. 90s, 2000s, aesthetic is back in. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, chief among all of them, I think. Well, this is the hard version of this boss, that's for sure. expecting any surprises at the state of play. Eh, not really. State of play is usually pretty dry. I don't really know what surprises could exist anymore, to be honest. Like what, some brand? A brand is back? I'm pretty jaded, but it's just because all the surprises have been mined. I feel like we've gotten them all. Final Fantasy IX Remake? But I don't know why they would announce that now when they're like in the marketing cycle for Rebirth. So, like there's no reason to even expect something like that when they have every when they have another more important game to market. Attack the cyber tablet. Yeah. We're bringing Last of Us out part 1. Again, one more time. PS5 Pro, I don't know. I don't know that Sony would show that off in a state of play. They would just put out a press release. It's fine. I just want there to be cool looking games. I don't need surprises. I don't need a I don't need some some forgotten franchise to come back unless it's Gex. All right, this is the real shit. Jojuka. Yeah. You give me a Bex, a Gex Bubsy crossover. 
and suddenly, I'm, suddenly I'm awake. Damn, man, I'm getting wrecked. I gotta, I gotta get in gamer mode here. Need Breath of Fire to come back. Capcom's doing Dragon's Dogma too. I'm, they're not the same. I get it, but they're doing something. They're doing something. They probably shouldn't. No, 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 no. Wow. Whew. That was not handled well. Yeah, a new Duke Nukem game. Sony's publishing Duke Nukem. Now that would, that would bowl me out of my chair. Sony's publishing Shenmue 4. Now we're talking. The stock price just tanks immediately. <laughs> How about, how about we really swing for it? Sony's announced that they've come to an agreement with Microsoft to allow Game Pass on PlayStation. Halo's coming to PlayStation. That's right, folks. Yeah. They can announce PlayStation VR 3, a new $1,200 headset that has one game. But don't worry, if you don't want to use a headset, you can buy the PlayStation Portal 2, which is compatible with VR 3. But it's just a 2D display. For ease of battery life, you see. For playing those PlayStation 3 VR games you love so much on the go. In your own house. Yeah, Dr. Cheeks. A lot of people still love buying hardware with PlayStation on it. Still. PlayStation with, with a lot of people are really where Apple was and to some degree still is. Which is like, if it's, if it's hardware and it's got the name on it, they'll buy it. And they'll find a way to use it and like it. Maybe I'm assuming a lot, but man. Remember when the iPad came out and everybody was like, the iPad, yeah, it's bigger. Oh, wow, this is wow. They did it, they've done it again. I love this. I've been waiting for this. I love this. I'm gonna use this for everything. This is the best money I've ever spent. The screen's bigger and I love it. My apologies to the iPad lovers in chat. Yeah, Nintendo's kind of similar. Nintendo doesn't monetize their own name as extensively as Apple does, though, and as, as, as much as PlayStation's starting to. You can point to the, like, like the, yeah, they don't put their games on discount, but they... And they, they overcharge for their hardware, but not as exorbitantly as they really could. Um, and then that's true of a lot of companies, but really, like really, Nintendo actually is pretty, pretty cost-minded with a lot of the things they do. And they really don't have to be. State of play is everyone? No. State of play is only Sony. That is Sony's show. But it's not only Sony games. Uh, they, they'll show off uh, their publishing partners and stuff. 
upcoming games on PlayStation 5. Do you point and click in this game? What's the actual gameplay? Uh, there's it's a one button game and a stick. You hold the button down, sweep the target over over targets to lock on, and then let go to fire. There's another button for bomb, but that's it basically. You can lock on to up to eight targets at a time, and I'm pretty sure if you do all eight, you get a, a point bonus. Oh shit! So the the nuance of the game is trying to figure out how to lock on to eight targets before letting go. But shooting is also how you erase bullets, so. Sometimes you have to let go to not get killed. even know if that's gonna hit me or not i've never really learned like some of the some of the whether or not you get hit mechanics in this game can be a little fuzzy Starfield 2, PlayStation 2 exclusive. Oh, man. We've sold Bethesda to Sony. Phil Spencer walks out, shake hands. Wait, Jim Ryan is not the president of Sony any, uh, anymore. Who's the new president? Did they even announce? He just left. They must have announced. I got to look that up. I don't know who the who's the U.S. roster anymore. Herman Hulse is still there, I think. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Red stock going up with the Dune films. Joe Biden. Hello. Hello, gamers. This looks like a weed game. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Guess what? We're about to play the evolution, play through the evolution of the planet in a rail shooter form. So I guess uh, doink him if you got him. Doink him up, boys. Do 
dude. I love that Trump might make a bunch of conservatives have to choose between him or Taylor Swift. I don't know if that's a fight he can win, man. I don't know. What a showdown, though. What a showdown for the minds of of the suede. A mental battle. Music's powerful, dude. I remember when uh, the first time I was like, maybe Christianity doesn't have everything figured out is when my dad told me that Freddie Mercury was gay. And I was like, no. No man with the voice of an angel could be on the wrong side of God. Although I guess that's actually an interesting and but flawed philosophy. This might have just been like a Reddit anecdote, but I remember reading a reading a story about a like a Greek lawyer who argued that his client was too pretty to be guilty. That like anyone with this divine beauty could not be uh could not have evil in them. Hello, Vulcan. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'll be uh, watching State of Play later. if you shoot the bottom part. I think it still kills it all the same. Oh! that deep you were just faced with gay excellence for the first time it's true it's true it's easy to uh it's easy to ignore certain things when you yeah when you you don't behold them any predictions on something special popping up or all double a games i hope man if the state of play is only double a games that would be that would be delight No brands in sight, just original ideas made by developers who want to make them. Could this heaven be real? No, it can't, because people like Batman. That's okay, I guess. Evolve to orb. After all this time, I have reattained orb. Yeah, no predictions, really. Uh, Stellar Blade's gonna be there. I'm excited to see that game. I don't really have a shopping list or anything. Which superhero gets a video game announced? So, wait, hold on. Oh, you want Infamous back? Uh. 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 Uh, Suicide Squad's right there, and it's better than Infamous in every way. Like, I guess they could make bring Infamous back and, and try to make it good, but 
they did that with another game. Not they. Yeah, Housemark might be cool. I'm scared. Yeah, Blue Point and Housemark are studios that I'm interested in. Team Japan, maybe they're doing something. Uh, hopefully they're not all just fucking working on remasters, but we'll see. Yeah, Second Son is great. Uh, Infamous Second Son was like, it was like right at the beginning of the PS4 generation, every Sony studio suddenly got really good at making the version of a game that they had spent the last 10 years making poorly on PS3. Suddenly. Killzone was amazing. Infamous was amazing. I was like, what the fuck is going on? These games got good out of nowhere. But then they all immediately got depressed. And decided to make art. And I should have liked that. That should have worked. <laughs> Sly Cooper remake slash collection? Didn't they do a collection already? The, 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 the mine. What's the point of religion if it doesn't let you judge the shit out of people? Damn right. You gotta... What's the point of not doing things if it doesn't give you a moral high ground? That was one of the- that was one of the things that I thought rang the most true to me when I watched Midnight Mass. Is like... The earnest attempt of- of the- the preacher dude. I can't remember his name. But trying to- trying to make somebody else understand the revelation of being able to think your way out of guilt. Or a belief structure that gives you permission to do whatever you want and not feel guilty about it. Like, what if you could just take whatever you wanted and feel however you want to feel and be- and be hateful however you want? And there's a whole belief structure that makes it totally okay. Like, all you have to do is just buy into it. That's it. Just turn the switch. And I was like, wow, that is how so many people I grew up around interfaced with religion. It was the belief framework that excused all of the things that I think they knew were wrong. It was the framework that they had to cling to. Otherwise, a whole cascade of other realizations would collide in and they just like the brain. The brain is so scared of all of that that it, it almost like inoculates against it violently. It'll fight to keep it. Because it, there's too much weight behind it. Too much potential uh, wrongdoing. Too many things to atone for. Or they just don't care, you know? <laughs> Some people, I think, don't even think about it that deep. They just like feeling powerful and right. But... Uh, religion is not unique in that regard when it comes to giving people the excuse to feel powerful and right. Are you getting philosophical? You know it, man. It's res. as it is It'd be nice to give Tetsuya Mizuguchi flowers someday. I'd like to do that. Well, maybe I'll get the chance. There she is! We did it. We saved her. No, we didn't. We gotta turn into a cyber, cyber fetus first. Revert to baby. So that we can save our cyber mommy.
Boss Rush. Planning on a third game, like a third rail shooter like this? I haven't I haven't heard anything about what he's working on after Tetris Effect, but I hope so. Yeah, I'm gonna play Suicide Squad. I'm actually uh I'm almost done with this game, believe it or not. And then yeah, I'm gonna switch over and play Suicide Squad with Bruce. For about an hour. And then the state of play starts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play some Suicide Squad with Bruce. State of play. Back to Bruce! And then probably Suicide Squad until later tonight when it's Lethal Company with Bruce. With Bruce and Datto. And Kasim. Kasim. We're all going to have a big Lethal Company. I feel like we're all good workers. We all get it. We're all content creators. We're the best. We're the best at creating work value for other people. Yeah, I'm excited to check out uh, co-op. I'm curious how smooth that'll be. Because single player is pretty smooth. Usually even games that are, like, single player, like games that play single player but are even designed around a multiplayer experience can sometimes feel really floaty and disconnected even in the single player environment. So it didn't feel that way. It felt pretty snappy. Now a lot of that is hiding lag, of course. But they did a good job, I think.
many missiles. Yeah, he's got to do this. He's got the zoomies. Did you get far in Suicide Squad? I think so. I'm pretty sure I'm near the end of the game, but I played for like 11 hours. Everyone's everyone's yelling about how the game's 10 hours long, but I didn't finish it, so hmm, maybe I'm slow. doing it for cyber babes always the cyber babes <laughs> techno fetus coliseum rave yeah we're just getting warmed up for death stranding here that's all that dirk that's a good sound <laughs> oh shit did i miss a phase i did oh no i forgot about this part i think it's okay yeah it's fine Noticed a lot of comments online of people actively looking for reasons to not like Suicide Squad. Yep. Welcome to a new gamer trend. Everyone enjoyed the dogpile on Cyberpunk so much that they're like, they're salivating over the opportunity to do it again. I swear to God, that's it. There were a couple of, there were a couple of reasons to be concerned about Suicide Squad, but it, that crossed over into gamers full on telling themselves that they had this game pegged. <laughs> And I think now the gamers cannot confront the fact that they may have they may have called this shot wrong. Critics were getting in on it too. So it's like, I don't know, there's a lot of crow that needs to be eaten. Ain't nobody eating it. It's part of a new tabloid cycle. It's it's been a thing for the last three or four years. There there are content creators that have slipped wholesale into it and don't even realize it, and they're gonna, they're kind of getting like they're getting a little confused, I guess. Now you either have to admit that like you were you called it way early and maybe your 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 predictive powers are off. Or, or Double Down. The Double Down is my favorite. Because it's going to get really hard to continue saying Suicide Squad is bad. But they'll keep trying. I'll try to find something that sticks. Now is when people are going to be workshopping. Trying to, trying to come up with Reddit posts that catch fire. Distill down their talking points. Double Down! I mean, I want to, I want to leave, I want to leave space in my head open for the possibility that somebody genuinely doesn't like it and genuinely prefers other superhero action games. I can see that. I can see it, um, I can see it being too much for people. <laughs> I can see it being too overbuttoned.
Yeah. Hate is more profitable than praise, especially when you can pitch yourself as a roguish outlier. The only one who's not afraid to tell it like it is. The people who hate it loved Avengers? Yeah. That's what baffles me. Um, I didn't know that there were people out here still saying Avengers was good. But there are, I guess. And you know what? I wanna- I wanna believe that it's possible to genuinely prefer Avengers to Suicide Squad. But that is just like... If that's your genuine taste, it's hard for me to not judge that, to be honest. It's hard for me to not look down on that a little. A little bit. But I should be tolerant. I don't want to. I don't want to- I don't want to judge it. But Marvel's Avengers was bad. Yeah, 2001. Yeah, like really bad. Yeah, the characters moved sluggish, the combos were... chunky, awkward, and not really fun to watch. It wasn't really fun to beat up robot dudes. It never really felt like my characters were connecting. Meh. At what point does contrarianism become sheepish? Jeez. Like 10 years ago? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Barfstep. I, so again, I could see people genuinely... We're, we're her cyber savior, by the way. We did it. Uh, I could see people genuinely preferring just the story and the bombast of Spider-Man 2. But at that point, it's like, you just, like, you just, you just like your games simple and fun. And that's fine. That's fine. But it feels like it, the, the conversation can never go there because, again, it feels like condescension, which I guess maybe it is. But that's what it is. It's okay to like simple, dumb games. I like simple, dumb movies. Area X time? Nah, it's, uh, it's Suicide Squad time. Area X scares me. Uh, we're gonna join- we're gonna join- ugh. Gonna join Bruce for Suicide Squad. Time for Bruce's and Lars' victory lap? We don't get to claim a victory lap on this one because we didn't say it was gonna be good before it came out. I think we were joining everyone else and being like, uh, this doesn't look good. Our victory lap can be in, in celebrating our humility to flop immediately as soon as the game's good. Or is it? Maybe the game's actually bad. Maybe the game's really bad. All right. Uh, I'm going to join Bruce. I'll be back in like five minutes. I'm going to get some water. See you soon.